What's going on YouTube? How you doing? Uh, George Crump here checking in once again with another video. Uh, uh, just completing another mulch job. Uh, um, which didn't take too long. Wasn't too bad. But um, anyway, so with this video today, uh, we're going to talk about um, customers calling and, and um, either calling or, you know, I do a lot on Facebook. So uh, a lot of times you see on Facebook customers calling in, you know, uh, or uh, having a text, you know, looking for a good landscaper uh, or how much does it cost for for this, you know, and they do it on Facebook. And and I see all these guys on there. Oh, I'll do it for this. Oh, I'll do it for that. And it's like, like you don't know what you're getting yourself into uh, by doing that. Like like for this property, for instance. Uh, you know, how, how am I going to mulch? Uh, how much does it cost for mulch? Well, you know, if I got to sit there and... Uh, you know, come up some steps um, to, you know, uh, to do something by hand or by just, you know, by pitchfork versus being able to just straight dump. You know, it's going to take me a little bit more time. Uh, so, you know, you have to take that into consideration. Um, you know, getting it all the way to the top of this hill is not, it's not easy. Um, but anyway, so, you know, you, I just don't understand how you expect to get a good price, uh, or honest price when, when you ask, when you ask for a price on Facebook. So anyway, with that being said, uh, so like with this customer, uh, you know, I, as you can see, I picked this customer up, um, and I just completed the mulch job and just getting it ready for the season. Um, they didn't have mulch right here. Uh, there was no mulch right here at first. It was just grass. So, you know, we went ahead and mulched that. So now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to add some boulder rock, uh, to run right through this, uh, this channel right here, you know, and that'll, that'll add a little, a little bit of life, uh, with this channel and, you know, kind of hide it. Uh, so... So yeah, um, but going back to, you know, giving a price for, for a property, like, you know, there's a lot that you have to take into consideration again. So, you know, blowing off all of the hard surfaces, cleaning off the patio and the, I'm the wrong way, patio and deck, you know, all of that entire area. Um, when I originally first uh, got this property, the mulch beds were not, they were not edged properly. So, you know, I had to come in and, and redo the edge. Um, that's really it on this backside where, where it really ain't too much maintenance, but you know, there is some difficulty with like even just trying to get mulch in here because uh, where it has to go. Uh, it's not a lot, but it still has to go up there. Uh, and that's about a, about a, about a half a yard, a yard and a half. I mean, I'm sorry, about three quarters of a yard up there, if not more. Uh, so yeah, so I'm pretty much finishing this, finish this property. I'm leaving. Uh, so as I'm leaving, I'm just kind of showing y'all what it looks like and how I had to redo the edge everywhere. Uh, this fence is a pain because you got to you gotta lift the fence up one plus it also messes up your mulch in the bed it pulls all the mulch like this whole edge right here i mean i really can't do too much with it because of the the continuous uh mess up of that fence uh, but anyway so yeah so i had to redo all of the edge in here um all of these all of these uh trees had to had to get uh, re-edged um, and actually I had to make all of them the exact same size uh, 
Yeah, uh, like two of them were, I don't know, they were really small versus, versus one being a, about that size over there. Then these two over here were pretty just like really, really small. So uh, this barber right here, uh, this barber was actually um, over here and uh, we took that out. Um, uh, there was some little little annuals she had right there. And uh, I thought that barberry would, would actually look good. It was, you know, that would definitely add some color uh, to the front of the property. So, you know, we went with that. I uh, had to rip out uh, a couple of a uh, couple of evergreens. I want to say it was like three evergreens right here. I uh, ripped those out with, along with the barberry, um, and also that azalea. Uh, not, I'm sorry, not azalea. Rhododendrus that you see over there. Um, I had to rip that out as well. So, you know, I just did all of that for a mulch job so that this property would be uh, presentable, workable for me. How much does it cost for grass cutting? You know, you get that question a lot. Well, you know, uh, there's a lot that goes into, you know, maintaining a person's property. Like with this property, uh, she has an issue with the stuff on the backside of this uh, that keeps on growing up. says I guess during the during the summer season during the growing season it just uh, it continuously like grows through like maybe even grows through the fence or something like that so that's an area that I need to make sure to continuously maintain for her uh, by her property being on the corner lot you know you got this huge sidewalk right here that as you can see, uh, as you can see with the sidewalk, it's just got a whole bunch of the grass seed. Look like from when they did aeration and seeding, uh, they never killed the weeds, the, the, the germination that was gonna grow up in the cracks. Uh, yeah, and you could just see as far as stick edging, that's another thing that's something that, you know, you would think about or you would want for your property. So, you know, um, the hedging and pruning, you would want that taken care of on your property. Uh, turf management, you you obviously would want it to be mowed and make sure that it looks good. Uh, leaf cleanup, you know, during the fall season when there's leaves, you know, you want to get those leaves up because uh, they actually do more damage to your soil just sitting on on the lawn. Uh, I mean, they do more dam more damage to your to your lawn uh, just sitting there. You know, it's just like a ground cover, a mat, a mat. Uh, if you pick a mat up off of the ground that's been sitting there for two three days, you know that uh, that grass up under it is yellow. Um, because it's starting to die and then eventually it'll just be a mud spot. So, you know, if you got a bunch of mud spots in your yard and you're always wondering, you know, why that happens, or it's because you don't do anything with the leaves during the fall season, you know, to help, uh, to help, uh, some grass actually grow. Grass can't grow over, over any type of mat covers. So, you know, with that being said, uh, George Crump again, just signing out. Uh, finally finished this property and on to the next one. Y'all take it easy.